One of the communities in Acadiana still feeling the surge and the impacts of Hurricane Laura is Pecan Island. And although the water is still high in some spots, the cleanup and the rebuilding process is now underway. Jordan Lippincott has the story. I'm here in Pecan Island off of Highway 82 in front of a row of five camps. Right now, the water is ankle deep, a reminder of the surge that Hurricane Laura pushed in. That surge flooding some of these camps, causing moderate damage. One of the camp owners has returned to begin repairs and is getting some help from his friends. Five days after Hurricane Laura, amid recovery, some in Pecan Island are grateful. It wasn't as bad as I thought. I didn't even really think my place was going to be here, so I was lucky it was even still standing. All of us are. <laughs> but that doesn't mean they are in the clear. Yeah, I got some water damage, so I was tearing the walls apart, changing the insulation, replacing it, putting it all back together. Fortunately for this camp owner, he's getting by with a little help from his friends. You should have seen the garbage in here. Really? Oh, yeah, the alligator too. When we found out he was in trouble over here, we came and offered what we could do for him. Robert and Norma Broussard traveled from New Iberia to make a delivery to their friend Jory McKenzie. They brought gas for his generator, plywood, and a home-cooked meal. We are retired. He works. So anything we can do for him to get him on his way, get his campsite back, get his home back, that's why we're here. We enjoy this kind of stuff, uh, giving to someone else, because I've been, and she has been given a lot, you know. So why not give back? The couple says it doesn't matter how long it takes, they're going to make sure their friend gets back on his feet. We do for one, we ask for nothing in return, we just say pay it forward. And although Mackenzie wishes the circumstances were different, he's happy his friends are just a phone call away. I'm glad they came by. It was nice to see them. <laughs> Besides when we go fishing. <laughs> It was nice that they brought me a few things that I could use. In the meantime, the camp owner is staying elsewhere, but with the help he's receiving, he's hoping to be back sooner rather than later. In Pecan Island, Jordan Lippincott, KTC TV3.